time of year again. It's back to school and kids are heading back to the classroom. That's right. News host Katie Lasso is at PS 59 in Brooklyn with more for us. And uh, Katie, what, what's, uh, what's the vibe like there right now? <laughs> Well, we're still a little bit early, not quite the start of school yet. We still got a little time, but right now I'm standing on the red carpet here at PS 59. They are literally rolling out the red carpet as they get ready for new schools to attend for the first day. I want to introduce you to the school principal of PS 59, Dr. Hislob. How excited are you to be back? I am so excited to welcome our students back today. We are truly ready for them. And you've got a whole little setup of festivities going on out here. You want to talk real quickly to me about what we have here behind us. I already mentioned the red carpet. I know you're super pumped about that. <laughs> yes, we are. We also have all the school supplies our students would need from the New York Power Authority, all the stationery, the lunch bag, the school bags, everything they need to get started and to have a successful year. Awesome, and I hear the music starting to go. I want to talk to you a little bit about the center of excellence that you have inside of the building. We got to take a look before. Talk to me a little bit about what's going on in that room. The center of excellence actually came about because of our new chancellor's vision to reimagine the learning experience for our kids. So this year, we are offering them so much industries to choose from so that they can follow their passion. So we have this year photography. We have even a DJ industry so that they can learn how to be DJs because this is something they're excited about. We have a sewing industry where they're going to learn to sew and to create jewelry and also to model because we want them to be competitive as they go out into the world of work. And we also have the barber industry and the hair braiding. We have so much in that room. That's only the beginning. <laughs> so many opportunities for these kids. And there's one other major thing going on right now at the start of school. They're getting, you're getting ready to welcome several asylum families. Talk to me a little bit about how that's going to impact you and what you're doing for these families who are arriving to New York for the first time and attending your school. Yes, this year we have a lot for our asylum families. We have been able to provide them with uniforms, with school supplies. We even have an industry room with a washer and dryer so that parents can come in and do the laundry for their students. We have a food pantry to provide them with additional food supplies and also additional school supplies throughout the year. So we're excited to welcome them here and we're going to do workshops to help the parents learn to speak English as well. Amazing. Thank you so much for speaking to us. So a lot of excitement building here outside of PS 59. The kids are just starting to arrive. You heard about the school supplies, all of that incitement inside, and we are going to continue to bring you updates on how things are going as the school morning begins. In Bed-Stuy, I'm Katie Lasso, News 12.